Marriage in both testaments focuses on the sex act. What determines whether a couple is married is whether they've had sex. What's interesting to me is that I have to work to get people to, to pull these two ideas apart. Marriage as a thing and sex. That having sex, biblically speaking, means you have you are married. Even though they get to, men get to do it all the time with women they aren't actually married to, depending on the situation. Yeah. So what does it tell you that the four passages that we talk that I that I reference here, Genesis 128, is about sex. It's not about marriage. Be fruitful and multiply. Yeah. That's not about marriage. That's about getting busy. Telling people to be fruitful and multiply is something you tell a small group of people, and it has nothing to do with marriage. That's just about doing your part to create, to bring about the promises given to Abraham. One of which is that you will be numerous and outnumber the stars.